If your excitement of working from home has turned into frustration because you can't figure out how to master Microsoft Office or Google Docs, don't think you're the only one. Since many of us, including me by the way, are trying to optimize our work, we thought it would be a great idea to help you guys out. And so say hello to Office Space, our brand new series where I, Aman Rashid, the tips and tricks guy here at Gadgets360, will help you get through your office work like a breeze. We will publish new Office Space videos every Tuesday, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so you're in the know of our latest videos. So let's talk about some boring stuff. Have you ever worked on that Excel sheet that takes forever to fill because you have to do calculations over and 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 over? Well, I'll be telling you how to automate such tasks by using macros. Now macros won't make you a cup of tea or do your homework unless your homework is a bunch of math problems. In that case, don't watch this video because that's cheating. Anyway, it will do a bunch of repetitive tasks for you. The cool thing about macros is that you can simply download them off the internet and get the job done. But make sure you only run macros downloaded from trusted sources because there's a huge risk of exposing you to malware that can delete important files stored on your computer. That's why it is always advised to enable macros whenever they are needed and naturally you should disable them when not in use. Now to show you guys how to enable macros in Microsoft Excel, I have created a sample spreadsheet. So follow these steps to get started. Okay, this is my spreadsheet which I have received from the nearby Dhabawala around my office. In this, I am going to format and label the total dues my colleagues and I have over at the local Dhaba and I am going to send this to everyone so they know who has dues and they can clear it. All right. I know Dhaba Walas don't send you Excel sheets asking you to clear dues, but let's pretend that this is the perfect world and this right here is quite normal. Now what I'm going to do is to format and label the dues in this spreadsheet. But to do this, I will first have to record a macro. So first let's learn how to enable it. To do that on a Windows 10 machine, you first click file and go to options. Over here, you click customize ribbon and then check developer. This way, you'll now find a developer tab on the main screen. Once this is done, you click trust center, then trust center settings and then macro settings. This is where you choose the fourth option, enable all macros that always let you run and you guessed it, macros. However, make sure that whenever you do not need to use macros, you choose the second option that is disable all macros with notification. Similarly, if you're using Excel on a Mac, then you don't need to dig into all these settings that I just mentioned. Instead, the developer tab is already present in the toolbar up top. So you simply click on it and get started. So coming back, now you go to the main page and click developer. Over on the left, you'll find a record macro button, click that. Now enter the macro name, enter its shortcut key, choose where you want to store the macro that is in the current workbook or as a common macro in your personal workbook and hit OK. After this, you simply start recording the commands. In my case, I will first separate the names of my colleagues and insert a last name table. Then I'm going to label the due amount in red for those people who have dues higher than zero. And this is it. I'm done creating my sheet. Let's now hit stop recording. So instead of formatting and labeling the spreadsheet I receive every month manually, now whenever I receive a new sheet at the end of the month, I simply run the macro which I just recorded and voila, no hassles anymore, one command and instant result. So this is how macros work. Now to check all your stored macros, you will have to click macros. And once you do this, you can access a bunch of other settings related to macros such as edit, delete, run, etc. 
Besides, to quickly access the security settings for macros, you can click macro security over here. And as I suggested earlier that once you're done using macros, you check the second option and disable all the macros. Well, that's how you can enable macros in MS Excel. I hope you got to learn something new. And if you did, then please hit the like button and share this video with others. Also, if you have any queries or any suggestions, you can write it down to me in the comment section down below. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. And for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com. See you next Tuesday.